Betsy from Happily Ever After, etc. And I am here on this really hot day to share with y'all how to make the lid for a dog food stand, bowl stand, bowl holder, adorable resin project. Okay guys, so in my last video, I showed you how to build a box with a Craig jig. You can use this box for whatever you want, but I am going to use it to hold three dog food bowls and give my little puppies a really cute place to come eat their dinner. We have eight dogs now and we free feed them so food is always available and the bowl holder that we currently have only holds one to two bowls. It's just not enough food. We're always having to refill it. Now that we went from seven dogs to eight dogs, we, we just decided we needed more dog food accessibility. So I built a box. Today I'm going to show you how to cut the holes out of the top, top, well it's a top, out of the top so that it can actually hold dog food bowls. And that portion's actually, <laughs> something's happening. <laughs> Alright, we're done with that now. Alright, aren't we done? Are we done? She's not sure. So that, what was I saying? Okay, so that the top can actually hold, physically hold the dog bowls. From there, you can leave the top wood, you can paint it, or you can do what I've done, which is to pour resin on the top. So I've made the top of my little dog food stand look like a geode slice, kind of like the acetate pieces I did for table numbers a while back. And it, I'm so excited to show you guys how it turned out. So for this project, I will put the full list down below of what you need. You can also check out the blog post if you would rather read the description after you watch the video, but it's actually a pretty quick and easy um, cutting project and the resin pour is fairly straightforward as well. So you're going to need resin, you're going to need silicone cups. I did five colors, so I needed five cups plus a large mixing cup. I did my signature palette because that's what I want my house to be. Um, I'm buying a house, so I'm making all the things for it blush, white, rose gold or copper, rose gold glitter, and clear with holographic and rose gold flakes. And in this instance, since I don't have the rocks, I'm not doing actual physical rocks in this piece, I actually put the rose gold flakes directly in the resin and mix it up and that seems to lay better on a flat piece. So I used about 400 milliliters of resin for this project. And that left me with a little extra in the glitter, the two glitter cups. I was completely out of the solid colors. I would have probably made a little bit more of the blush. So I did 100 milliliters of blush, white, and the clear, and then 50 milliliters of each of the resin. I probably would have done maybe 130, 150 milliliters of the blush if I was redoing this project. I just felt like I needed a little bit more of that. Other than that, you need freezer paper to lay down and you need something to prop under your piece to hold it up. Your resin is going to drip off the sides, okay? You need respirator, you need gloves, you need a heat gun to pop the bubbles, but also to take the drips off of the bottom of your piece once it's cured. I used a Dremel to both cut out the holes for my dog food containers and to sand the holes. Um, and I think that's everything. So we're going to get started. I can't wait. Not only will you guys get to see how to resin a piece, you'll get to play with the Dremel. And at the end, if you stick around that long, you'll see the finished piece right here and all my dogs because they were a little obsessed with this project. Let's get started. All right, y'all. So now we are doing the dap. So this piece has to be able to hold our dog bowls, which means we need to cut three, one, two, third one's over there, three holes out of the top that will actually hold our dog bowls. So here, first reference is a dog bowl, and I've cut, well, I've traced three holes on here that will be right about the size this inside ring so that once this is cut out this will drop right under there and this lip will sit on top 
So as you can see, I've already started. And what I'm using for this is my Dremel with a reinforced bit on the end. This can cut metal, it can cut wood. It's not 100% perfect because as you can see, it, it's meant to cut straight. We're cutting a circle, but it will cut out the inside. And then once we're done, we will go back with one of these little sanding bits for the end and just smooth out anything that's not 100% smooth. So it's pretty easy, but it is a little tedious. There are probably better tools out there for cutting a circle out of a piece of wood, but I have a Dremel, I use it for everything. So this was just my go-to tool. I'm gonna show you what I'm doing. It's kind of loud, so I'll turn down this part of the sanding, okay guys? So I'm gonna turn it to high and then I'm just gonna keep cutting. So you want to make sure that a, you're wearing protective eye gear because this is a sanding cutting device. It can blow sawdust. It can blow chunks of wood. You don't want that in your eyes. Second of all, make sure you're constantly moving. If you hold it in one spot too much, you're going to start to burn the wood. It won't necessarily hurt the wood, but it's not great for your Dremel. And it smells really bad. Don't do it. So we're just going to keep going. I'm going to turn you on fast. And then once we're done with this one, I'm not going to show you the second two. It's all the same. It'll just be like Presto Magic finished. Ready, y'all? So here's our top. This is going to get resin, so it just needs a basic white coat. Now our bottom of the box will be visible, so it needs a good two or three coats to be really white. And here are the sides. And we've painted everything inside, the top, the sides, and as you can see, those joints on the side now are hardly even visible. So. We are going to let everything sit. We will do a second coat there, and then I will show you how to put resin on everything.
dogs don't know what it is but they're convinced that it's for them maybe because it has their dog food bowls in it but they keep coming over to check it out and I can't wait to actually put some dog food in this so they can try it I kind of held it up in front of one of the dogs when I was building it to see how high it needed to be should be the right height the last one I made was a little tall <laughs> for our short little dogs Bowser Bowser, don't put your booty in the camera. He said, I'm a dog, I don't care about videos. So, we built the box. I showed you guys how to do that. Sugar, she really wants to come have some food. She's also locked in a pen with her puppies. So, you know, life is hard, Sugar. Let us film the video. And then we resined the top, and this is how it turned out. So, I will put some pretty still shots in here, but I absolutely love it. Biddy also loves it. Why? You guys keep putting your booties in the shot. Sit and look at the camera. So let's go ahead. Um, the way that I built it is so that the top is just removable. Now you can put hinges on this or you can even tack it down, but I like to store my dog food inside and so I like to just be able to move it real easily. And as you can see, none of my dogs are super big, so they don't move the top around. The last one I made like this, I just left the top on top, and it wasn't a problem for my dogs. If your dogs are rough eaters, you probably want to put hinges on the back so that the top doesn't move too much, but you can still get inside. So I'm just going to go inside, and I've got a little bag of their dog food, and then we're going to see if they love it much as I love it. So, they know what this is. They know what it is. They say, oh. Ready? You guys ready? Let's pour some far away from me first. at it. They say we're, we're not super hungry right now. You want me to fill them up? Are they too tall? I don't think they're too tall. I think they may have to get up a little bit but I mean he's reaching all the way inside. We had a little dog food holder that had two bowls but since we have um seven dogs now. Eight! We're keeping a puppy. I'll go get him. Oh my gosh you guys he's so cute. Then uh we needed a bowl that had just a little more storage. 
Ooh, that's a big piece. You want that, Koopa? Yeah. That's good stuff. Coco wants some. Well, they are, they're not hungry right now. Koopa's, Koopa's thinking he's hungry. The flies are hungry. And this is just Wellness Core. Um, we bought this a couple years ago. We started getting for them. We like it. This is the small breed. So that's the main thing with our dogs. They're tiny. So we like to get tiny dog food. It's also formulated specially for small breeds. We have seven miniature dachshunds and a Yorkie. So, you know, life in the Smith house. All right, you guys wait and I'm gonna go get Slim Shady. Yes, that is the puppy's name and show him to you. Okay, oh, here's the babies. So this is Onyx. This is Lilac, there's their mama, Sugar. And the one in the middle is little Slim Shady. He's a shaded cream. They just started eating solid food this week. All of them, they each have their own bowl. Think we could have an eating contest? I don't think they could finish. So, they're thinking about it. They're thinking about it. This is just a dog video now. If you were interested in watching this box be made, we are finished. Uh oh. Oh, I knew he was gonna fall. Puppy down. Puppy down. It's okay. He's all right. So either way, I really like how the box turned out. I think the dogs are going to get really good use out of it. And I don't know, it goes with my gold resin everything in life. So I'm happy. They're happy. I hope you're happy too. Have a good one. Bye y'all.